So I'm going to call this meeting to order at 632. Okay. The roll call is Councillor Kassiri, Bruce, Councillor Jones, and myself, uh, Juliet Parker. Um, can I get a motion to approve the April 29th, 2021 meeting, minute, special meeting minutes? So moved. Second, Jones. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's, any abstentions? It passes unanimously. Thank you. So on to new business. And um, I think I was wondering, that's page five. Is that correct? I just want to make yes. sure I'm looking at the right. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Good. And I know we have several attendees. Uh, I rec I hear I see Ms. Surf, Ms. Furlong, Ms. Pratt, and Councillor Franco. Currently at this time, I do not have it open for others to speak. Only at this time is the counselors. If you have any suggestions, you can email us at the council email. And thank you guys for attending our meeting. Okay. <clears throat> So new business is, we'll take it line by line if that's okay with everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to add a rule. This was a request that was put in. Add a rule establishing a mechanism to move the question with a simple majority being sufficient to move, vote, to, move to vote. This will apply to both committee of the whole and town council meetings. Okay. So I believe I have to open up the other one. Sorry, I'm trying to have- No worries. At this Take your time. Is that you're gonna open the rules just so we know where these are coming from? Yes, I, I'm believing he's trying to do it under- Yeah, where would it be? Well, that would be a good suggestion of where he would like it at. Motions. Yeah, uh, yeah. Motions withdrawal of motions is letter C under mm -hmm. rules of order, rule eight. Rule um, eight. Yes, page five. Page five. Letter C. Okay. Let's write that down. I'm not <coughs> sure if there's a better section for that. Yeah, I was wondering myself. Okay. Nope, I don't want to. We don't want to under that one. It looks. Um, is it referencing in that eight D part five where the council may upon a two thirds vote of the council? Is that the one that we're looking to change <clears throat> in section eight? I think that's to be consideration. D. Oh, D. D. Section that's debate, decorum, and debate limits of debate. Oh, yeah, that would be. That would be a good spot. That would be it. So instead of two thirds, which would be six, it would be five or simple majority. Uh, I keep it simple majority. Simple majority. Um. No counselor <coughs> make of the motion as the privilege of speaking first and motion counsel should find remarks, address remarks through the mayor, address each other as counselor. Okay, void attacking at council meetings. Councils are limited two turns of three minutes. Um, so it would be a section six under D. I was gonna say, do we wanna actually add any specific um section four moving the question and then define that it would be by a majority vote because is section five referencing moving the question i don't it does not seem to be okay. no right seem to it seems to be just debate but on the same token i think i have to put it under two different sections because it does have where we list out what 
the committee of the whole does, and then what the council does. No, no, we do we want that other one? Does he want that section five to change to a simple majority <clears throat> for the amount of debate? Or we leave that at two thirds? No, I, I would think that that's a simple majority because that's usually where we're, it's usually in a, in a debate, right? And you would say, move the question to move the question at that point if you're in a debate. On any pending right, so we're proposing changing section five from a two thirds majority to vote to a I'm sorry a two thirds vote to a majority a simple majority simple majority yeah okay but <clears throat> it a question that I have that actually that, yes is um does this section five also is it count for both committee of the whole and town council is that yeah that's the that's what the he would like yes okay. for both. it would have to be written in both sections so is there another section in the rules here that's for i don't know which which part of this rules are we talking about well now? committee procedures if we go down to uh rule 10. okay um Oh, I see. oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Let me just go up rule of order. Let me go look at rule ten. Pretty sure we are. Um, yeah. J under yep. rule ten has yeah. the debate decorum and debate limits. And I'm going to pause for a moment. I we have other guests. If uh, Representative Thomas is at the meeting also, at this time, it's only the counselors that are on this committee that are able to speak. Just to let everyone know, um, if you have suggestions, we can take them under advisement. You can email us at the council our council emails. Thank you. And Ms. Surf, I see your hand, but as I stated before, only the counselors. <clears throat> so we can put it in both those sections, which is 4D okay. and roll 10 to have simple majority instead of two thirds to simple majority. Okay, let me go back up to so we were doing it in D five. Or rule eight. eight. Is, that, is that right? Yes. That's, that's right. So rule eight. Rule eight, section D. Paragraph five. Is that the right way we would say it? I would suggest that it. <clears throat> have to put in. I believe we need to say that we're moving the question. Right. We should probably put language in there that it's right. or moving the question. And then the other section is in number 10. Part J. Part in J. Letter, letter J. Yep. So rule 10, part J. Oh, the plight of the cow. I, I think the wording is going to be. We have to make sure we're doing it according to Robert's rules. And do we have those words anywhere in here? Move the question. Do not. Do not. Okay. That's where well. I'm sorry, Chair Parker. I didn't mean to cut no, you off. No, go ahead, Council Procedure. Um. <clears throat> so do we say something to the effect of? This would also include 
moving the question in compliance with Robert's Rules of Order. So I wanna make sure that we can move the question that way. So I'm checking my procedure now. I know, Councilor Jones, you've read it. You guys have read this extensively too, but I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. Right. Absolutely. I'm just gonna, I'm getting my Robert's rules out also. I just wanna move the question. Leave the question. Councilor Parker, I'm just going to step off for a second to get my reading glasses. Hold on a second. Yes. Yeah, that's not under that one. That's my cheat sheet. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, we're on till 7.30 this evening. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Councillor Bordelon has joined. Um, Councillor Bordelon, as I've stated previously to all the members that are here, that currently is only the rules committee that is speaking. If you have any suggestions, you're more than welcome to email us and we can take it under advisement and bring it forth to everyone. But at this time, it's only the committee's speaking. Thank you. I'm looking to see if I can find where it is in Robert's rules, but there's no move to question or questions. Which book are you looking at? Um, this one. The big one? Yeah. Yep. I'm just in the index trying to figure out. They don't really have a move. Mover of a motion. Move is just a section when making a motion for two and ten nine. And it says also see also making a motion. Right, maybe that's where it is. Oh, making a motion for or a member makes a motion in another second, suggests it's a question on the motion. Making a motion. Yeah, that's not helping. I don't think that would. I, I mean, got it in the cheat book. In the cheat book, that one? Which yeah. Page? Um, I'm on page 35 in chapter four in debate. Close debate immediately, the motion for the previous question. Okay. I got it here too. All right. In Robert's uh, rules, it's called calling the question. That's probably why we're not finding it under. Oh, uh, it, oh there you go. I moved the previous. I said calling. Yeah. That's where we're not um, call to order. So this would still go fall under the debate. Yes. Oh, well, technically is to say I move the previous question. Yeah. It, but this requires a two-thirds vote and it's undebatable, but 
we can always change our rules as long as we are. Mm -hmm. All right, so we should not say anything about in compliance with Robert's rules of order because our rule is different. Right. Okay. But then we are using Robert's rules as a guidance, so. Right. 16, 16, 17. All right. Sixteen, six, and seven. Previous question. Yeah. So in our big book, it's on um, sixteen, six, and seven. Thank you. Which is page one ninety one. Oh, got it. Should we call it that? Call the question as opposed to move the question? Is that the correct terminology for it? I think that's how you have to say you move to please when regardless of the word of a motion or call seeking to close the debate. It always requires a second and a two thirds taken separately. Because it says in the in this the smaller one, it does say I move the previous question. So that's well, I think it says I move to close or end debate. It's the sixteen six says the same thing. Right. A motion, a motion such as I call for or call the question, I demand the previous question, I move to close or end debate, I move we vote now is simply a motion for the previous question. So they all mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. But I agree with Councillor Kasiri on we shouldn't reference the um, the no. rules. So I agree with that too. So we just they want suggestion is simple majority, which would put it at five counselors, four five to four or five to however they vote. Yep. Five in favor and then no's and abstain abstentions. Which does affect the other one, the other role. So we can put in that. I'm just trying to think of the right verbiage. Your thoughts? Um, well, simple, ma simple majority. So this is on J, right? We're looking at yes. shall apply to uh, maybe allowed more than two turns. It's not kind of speaking in debate. The motion may be moved by a simple majority, something along that line. The motion may be moved. Say a simple majority to call the question to call the question motion. Motion. say it again the, the motion to call the to call motion the may be made by a simple majority yeah. to call the question to end debate may be made no well it's not it's not me the motion isn't made by a simple majority though right the... no the it, uh, motion only requires a first person to state it in the right. second person and the mayor reiterates what was put on the floor to to call the question requires just a simple majority A motion may be made and seconded to call the question. Which is, do you guys still have your little red book that was provided um, to us? Yes. Yeah. I think I have it right now. I'm looking for it right here. Do 
It would be page eight. Councilor Park, you're talking about this one? Yes. Okay. It's page eight. Page eight. Move. Move the previous question and debate and amendments. This would be after the two rounds. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. I think so too. Yeah, I would agree with that. Motion may be made and seconded. The motion may be made and seconded after two rounds of two speaking. rounds. Of okay, speaking. wait a minute. <laughs> You're writing it. Okay. Motion may be made and sec. A motion may be made and seconded after two rounds of speaking mm -hmm. to call the question with a simple majority. I was going to say, and debate can be ended by a simple majority. And okay. Yeah, I like that too. I to call the question and debate. All right. Um, repeat it so I make sure I have everything. <clears throat> Motion may be made and seconded. After two rounds of speaking to call the question and debate can be ended by a simple majority. And debate can be ended by a simple majority. So all we really need to do is put it under rule eight, section D. Okay, D. Would be number six or number five. Six. Six. Page. Section D. And then because rule 10 references section D, rule eight, section D. Now, do we need, are we changing um, number five? We don't want to have both of these in there, right? Does five come out and six, does six replace five? Well, no. Because this is this is speaking of how many times a person it they've already had their two rounds and they <clears throat> want to ask if they can have a third round. Oh right, okay. So okay. That one that only That's pertains safe. to them. This becomes number again. six. Okay, you you are correct. Sorry, this is number six. Okay. okay. Motion may be made and seconded after two rounds of speaking to call the question. And, de and debate can be ended by a simple majority. Okay. Right. Is it, let me, I just want to read one different way of saying it and just, just to get your thoughts. Okay. The motion may be made and seconded after two rounds of speaking to call the question and end debate with a simple majority. Is where we put ended. And end debate with a simple majority or debate can be ended by a simple majority. Is there? I just say don't say that again. Say say your second one again. So the second one is the motion may be made and seconded after two rounds of speaking to call the question and end debate by a simple majority. I like that. All right. You'll have to send that to me. Okay, let me just let me just bring it in. Oh, Christian, and, an end and debate in, by a simple majority. End debate by a simple majority. And end debate. Yeah, that's cleaner. That's cleaner. Okay. I just the, the first one sounded a little more legal easy, but this one just seems like a little bit more to the point. Sorry. No, that's all right. Well, this that's, is why we no, no. that's why we discuss it. The motion may be made okay. and seconded after two rounds of speaking to call the question and end debate. By a simple, yeah, it just keeps it clean. Okay, I like that. Yep. 
So do you want me to write that up and send it to you? Is that? Please, if that's all right. Okay. Yep. So that we're all on the same page and then I'll we'll send it out when I type up the minutes. Yep. All right. And does this go in section 10 as well? Well, let me go to 10. Because that's the. Oh. Well, rule, it says rule eight, section D, debate and decorum and debate limits of still shall apply in Cal. However, counselors, oh no, we should add that line in there too. In section, in uh, rule number 10. We yeah. can do a subsection in letter J, part right. J. Just do a subsection underneath so we don't have to move any of the letters around. So rule number 10, section um, J. J. And do and a then, subsection number one. Yep. Number one. And the same rule. We just drop it in there too. Yep. Okay. 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 Great. All right. That number is number one. That was number one. Okay. And oh, I should have asked if we do not finish tonight. Um, are you guys okay with us setting up another meeting date? Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. I'm not going anywhere now. Okay. <laughs> you done now? Uh, until uh, next year. All right. So that was number one. So we're on number two. All right. Okay. Number two. Another suggestion. Eliminate responses to citizens petitions from the town council. I believe this is where the potential of getting in trouble with FOIA mm -hmm. be the concern. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, where is that? I don't even know if that's on here in the rules, technically. Oh, yes, it is. Page three. Page three. Num Rule seven and number six. Responses. So we basically eliminate, do we have to then change the numbers of the other section? Yes. <coughs> Which is also because rule seven is going to be another discussion too. So we'll just keep that one in mind. Okay. So let me just make a note here. So we are now in number two. So this is to take out responses. And Take out number six. So rule seven. Remove number six. The way it rule seven A mm -hmm. subsection mm -hmm. six. You're, you're yep. correct. Sub section A. Okay. <clears throat> That's pretty simple. So I probably should have asked, should we do these one by one and vote on them right now? I think we should take each item and vote on it. Okay. If that's all right with you guys. Yep. Or you want to do it as a whole? Um. As if we don't finish tonight. Oh. Because I only have this is only till 7 30. Right. Okay. So let's do vote each each one then. Okay. Will they once they're brought to the council, will they be voted as a group or as a or as a single item? That was gonna be my question. Well, that's if if we I vote them as a out. group, do they get voted as a group? That's the question. Well, we could find out the answer to that. And then if we decide to vote individually, we could do that at the next meeting. Okay, that works for me. Okay. And then we'll just, okay. So we'll move the voting on each of these to the next, to the next meeting. Okay. All right, so we're, okay, we're all okay with number three, I mean two. The number yeah. two is just taking out numbers rule A Subsec, I mean, rule seven, subsection A, number six. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
So number three is allow the appointments and reappointments recommended, recon, uh, recommended by the personal appointments committee to be held under new business. Discussion. Do we now do them in the consent calendar is where they're yes. done? So yes. would this allow us to have more discussion on them? Is that the, what this does? I don't know why, but you, yeah. But we have discussion it and we end up with discussion anyways. The thing is currently, since we had the last one, technically we should have suspended the rules and had it as a separate agenda item. We did not do that. Mm -hmm. Now they want it moved out. Um, uh, it's not listed under rule seven, which is the agenda under consent calendar. It's not in there. You're so right. we don't the need to appointments from that. Rule seven consent calendar is set number set. Oh, it does say appointments. I'm sorry, yeah. I missed that. It does. So we would we would move B appointments under number 10 of new business. Um, so we move it from number seven consent calendar. So then it would be A would be approval of minutes, B would be administrative items, C would be deletions, and then but, drop down to number 10 under new business, it would be appointments. But technically this is administrative items. Right, so we don't even really have to define that it's going in new business, correct? Correct. Okay. So we would just remove it from consent calendar in section seven. Well, the, that would put it under new business. Right. So would we remove appointments? Is that what we would do in section seven? That's up to. Well, that's my question. Is that is that what we're we're saying? We just we just don't list that number B, number B there. Is that right? They want it as a separate item. Under new business. Under new business. Okay. But technically, it really isn't new business because we are, it's still an administrative item. It's one of our things that we do all the time. For instance, we approve previous minutes. Mm -hmm. Unless we're going to do this for every committee we have to make sure that we put it on as new business. So each item, each group committee groups should have everything submitted as a new item, new business item then. So all committees would have to submit their stuff so that we all can review it and approve them. Um, I'm not, okay, it's that, I guess I don't really fully understand what what you just said <laughs> okay for instance there's each group uh we have the rules committee mm -hmm. personal appointments oh. public safety and any other ad hoc group that we currently have as counselors that we are chair person any committees that we have would be placed under new business So everything that they do in their meetings needs to come to the council as new business. Um, okay, is that? Uh, just a thought process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm just relying on your experience. That to... I'm just saying we're trying to streamline the meetings to be more efficient. Right. Because counselor, one of the counselors sent in a request asking if we can streamline our meetings once we've approved an item under the committee of the whole. Can I play devil's advocate here? Go ahead. So I'm just gonna look at public safety. So if we send something to public safety, mm -hmm. that is most likely gonna end up as an agenda item, no matter what. Correct. And rules, like, you know, in the beginning rules meets, but rules doesn't meet that often. So if something's going to rules in the middle of a, a term, then it's probably something that's going to end up as an agenda item. Correct. So don't they normally end up in new business anyway? Those items, personal appointments meets monthly. 
right? Right. Yeah, I'm just saying that the... Um, All those other items, yes, they would come under new business. So, right. It's okay. just the frequency of how, how often they're meeting. They're meeting more because there's more business. The other committees don't meet as often, so there's less business. But if we look at it in that way, anything going to a committee is generally going to end up, end up in new business anyway. Okay. That I just thrown it out there. Just a thought. So, Kazakasari, which pieces would you then, is it appointments and administrative items? Both of those would move? To no, we cannot them? move that. Well, just appointments, he said. Just appointments. Okay. You just That's have to do it specifically. Because was appointments is really, it, it's an action item from a committee. And I think it was thrown in there. I, I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't know. This, this has been on there since. Right. Uh, I don't want to speculate as to why, but it's probably because of the frequency that it was put in there. But, you know, I don't I don't know why it was put in there. Um, and the mayor made this request. So I'm just looking at it as it's an action item from a committee. Any other committee meeting is generally going to bring an action item. It's going to go to new business. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine moving. I think your question, Chair Parker, is just, is it the right place to do it? Right? Is that right? What, it's your. I mean, we're not, we're not debating whether to do it or not. It's just, is this? Oh, it was just a discussion it? item. It yeah. Was a discussion okay. item. Okay. So, okay. I'm. Okay. I'm suggestion. Okay. So we're not voting on these tonight, anyway. Suggestion to right. remove. Yep. Right. So if we were, if we do that then the consent calendar would have A, approval of minutes, B, administrative items, and C, deletions. And then under new business, we would have an A, appointments. And anything else that goes under new business, so. Is that the, am I, is that the way it would be? Well, written? technically, if we remove it, it will be considered new business anyways, as oh. Council Kasiri okay. pointed out. If we remove that line item, it's gonna fall under new business. Got it. We don't have to list new business. What okay the items are okay that actually probably makes it cleaner yes because if we did that we would have to list out all the items that oh, we okay um, all right if we start list. listing one we have to list them all we oh, list it, it just it'll be whatever it is going to be so correct all right so, so but, seven but you're correct on the consent calendar items it'll change to an abc with with the new a new b and a new c it will just yeah. it'll just move up which is which, which i might have to add a discussion item because currently well we get ready to talk about referral lists at the end okay i'm just making yes. some notes here so i have it yeah 7d is a discussion for later because we don't delete or add anything well oh. we do technically <coughs> but technically we haven't deleted anything either From town council. Oh, I see. They just it just keeps growing. Right. Okay. Okay. But for the moment, that's that's fine. Okay. 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 So that one we're gonna remove. Suggestion of removing. Okay. So we are on number four. Okay, so where is that? <laughs> okay, let's go to the rules, our current rules, and see what page he would like, where that would be the best place to do it. Who, who exactly is he referencing in this? Is this presentations from like town staff? Or anyone? I believe anyone. Okay. Could this also be, could this also count in a, a citizen's petition like we had um, two councils, two meetings ago where there was a presentation done? Is that, this would apply to that? Well, I believe, you know what, I, I can't assume, but I'm going to suggest yes. 
Now, where would this go? Account of that order, business citation. No speaking communication. Oh, so could it be in in Rule Seven B? Um, no. I just saw it. I just saw it. Here. Oh, fiddlesticks! We got to go back one. Okay. So look at Seven Rule yep. Seven Section B Notes of yep. Order. Of business. Yep, if, number two. Yes, number two. If we move that, we gotta. Good catch, Councilor Parker. Okay. So we have to remove that one also? Yep. Okay. So seven, seven. Section two. Seven. Section B. Uh, Number two, remove. So look at number three. That's just the one I was referencing. Number three on what oh, page? Just below the number two we just did. So page, page four. Section B, those speaking under communications and reports other than committee reports are limited. I'm just looking. Wait a minute, what am I looking? I'm look, I was just looking at where, I'm trying to find where the presentations and updates are. And it's that, that that's actually other that's than committee reports, speaking, of, that's communication and reports. There's a time limit there of five minutes on that. Wait a minute, rule seven. Section B, notes in order, notes to order of business number three, Roman numeral number three. Those speaking under. Oh, communication, that's for us. That's yeah. For us. Yeah. So is this presentation, this is for somebody presenting like a town employee or a, a, a developer or somebody like that. Is that what we're referencing here? Yeah, oh, but I'm thinking more it might be under. Go to rule five. Okay. Uh, section B. It should be the duty of the mayor to preserve order. Oh yeah, I'd say, I think yeah, with the counselors, it's almost like oh. you want to expand it to say counselors and others wishing to speak. And well, there's no declaring the votes though. So, so that's a tentative, rule 5B, but I'm trying to think of somewhere else. We could also, instead of attaching it to B, we could just add it to the bottom of rule five and just make it its own thing. Because it is mayoral duties and responsibilities and we could just say letter H is that the mayor can set a time li limit on any presentations. And updates. And updates. And updates. Okay, so okay. make it rule five, add section. H, the mayor shall set the mayor shall time limits on presentations and or updates shall to Time limit to preserve to preserve order for the meetings. Do we want to make it shall or do we want to give him the ability or her? The mayor will the, the, the mayor will or can 
Can, thank you. Can, is it, isn't shall like a legal, like that you have, <clears throat> you have to do it. It doesn't, to, if we say shall, we don't think of it that way, but isn't that what it really means in legal term? It's, if you, if you use the word shall, it's like- Shall is you have to. You have to, where yeah. can- Can is it. you have the option to. Okay, the mayor can set a time limit on presentations. Well, allowing the mayor to set a time limit on items that need. The mayor should have the ability to extend the time if needed. No, oh, you're right, the mayor can, okay. Yeah. The mayor can set a time limit on presentations or updates. Or on presentations or updates to preserve the order of the meetings. The order okay. of the meeting. Of the meeting. Take of the right. meeting. Of preserve or the, say that again. I'm messing it up. I just the, said it. The mayor can set a time limit on presentations or updates to preserve the order of the meeting. Okay. Thank you. That's, that's, that's I it. want to say it, but I don't think it came out the way I want to say. It should be singular, I think, right? Meeting is singular. So yes. The mayor can set a time limit or presentation uh, on set a time limit on presentations or updates to preserve the order of the meeting. Okay. Which okay. is consistent with what um, 5B would be. And it's going to be called now a section H. H. Okay. So this is going as to be, in hotel. This is yes. in I'm going to say, this is going to be rule five section H. Okay. Okay. Now so, I have to go to Mayor or town manager will request support. And. Hmm. That's okay. I see this. So uh, let me know when you want to have this discussion. This is number five now, right? Yes. So, Councilor Parker, wasn't this present in other rules? It was. I don't know when it changed out. I don't remember it changing out and us voting on it. So I would like to reestablish that. And are we currently people just suggest councilors just suggest a referral? It just sort of happens, right? It just becomes it just it ends up on uh, on up on the agenda on the packets. Um, just to streamline our agenda items, also to streamline so our open agenda items doesn't become too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. My yes, suggestion yeah. was, to, um, yes, streamlining so that we can at least get some things that need to be taken care of and not go right. on. And if I- and The list has become very extreme, so. If if I read this correct, this, this would mean you would need four people, the person suggesting it, and then three others to support it. Is that, am I reading that correctly? Yes. What's suggested here? But it also has to go to the mayor and the town manager to make to make sure that they send it out so okay. that they reply back to the mayor or the town manager or probably both to say yes we want it on the agenda item one to avoid us replying all so we do not oh, discuss no. the agenda item per foia and two it streamlines who replies back to the mayor and the town manager so it looks like it's in rule number nine, committees and referrals, F. Looks like this is the current, um, is the current language on this. So that's the one we're gonna be changing. I'm sorry, can you repeat where it is again? Um, rule number nine, page seven, rule number nine, uh, section F, F as in Frank, on page seven. Thank you. So it says here referrals to committee are made by the by the mayor. No nope, separate one. Hmm? 
Oh yes, no, you're right. Okay, I see it now. That's, that's the one we're changing, right? That's the we're we're kind of putting some extra stuff on it. Here he comes. Here comes yeah, here. which that probably really needs to be clearer language on, anyways. But this is where it just looks like anybody can suggest anything, and it just goes on. So we're going to change this number F, I think. Right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so just a question that I have is, do you think three extra counselors is too many? Could it be well, two? Just it was previously was three. Oh, it was three. Okay. Well, okay. in other previous roles, oh, previous council's roles. Okay. And sorry, I'm trying to pull up how it was worded then. Roll nine, correct? So this would definitely, um, make these things have more sort of meat to them. Well, also if it's important Ooh. enough, you're gonna get support quickly, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a question I have also is, um, yes, is this a retroactive thing, or is it is that whole list that we now have, which is almost two pages, does that just keep on going, and this is for everything that's new? That's yes, moving the, forward. Moving forward, okay. Because we can't change those already established on, at least okay. in my mind, they've okay. already put on as an agenda item, open okay. agenda item. No, I just I'm just asking the question. That's all. Yeah, I, I didn't want to. I, I think moving forward, this is how we should go. Yep. Okay. No, also, good. many of them are from previous councils anyway, so we wouldn't be able to retroactively do that. Right. Okay. Oh, why is my computer acting up? Is that the warning? Why is it? So... We have about five minutes. Just putting that out there. Okay, we do. Um, um, how would we write this? Um, how would we write this? Uh, let me sit here. So, are you suggesting that all referrals need? need to, I'm sorry, I don't know who actually um, made oh, this. I did. Okay. Um, Sorry, I didn't want to say you. Oh, if it was it's you. okay. I'm more than well willing to put my name out there on it. Okay. I, um, <laughs> you're saying you want it in writing, right? To the mayor. To the mayor. So we can mayor automatically mayor. take out this line. Any counselor may request a referral at a meeting. Actually, probably because um, Technically, when they make the referral, it ends up being a new agenda item, and that's something we shouldn't be discussing at a meeting anyways, if it's not on the agenda. Right. Right. So what we're doing is we're really kind of formalizing something that's been kind of casual up for this for this council, where people just suggest it. We're kind of giving it a little more framework. Right. So instead of saying any counselor may request a referral at a meeting, we change it to any counselor may request a referral in writing through the mayor and the town manager. And then the second sentence can go into how they need to have three. Um, so are you guys, do you guys think three or four total? No, the four is, no, it's less than majority. Simply less than majority. Four. I think, I think four is okay. I, um, because then it gets, then it moves forward and there'll be discussions and things about it, but it, I, I don't if it's not it's I think if you made it a majority it changes the right it changes the dynamic of the, changes the dynamic of what it is it sort of now becomes that becomes the thing that you're trying to do where this just means we're just trying to get it on the agenda so I would think I wouldn't do any I don't think any to me uh, four seems I mean you're gonna have to do some work to get four people or three other people to support you anyways right um so I, I think to me that's about. Otherwise, you, I think it changes the dynamic, and now you're sort of you're voting on something before you're even voting on it, is what you're doing by making. Oh, it five. so have three or four? What? 
if if you have if we have if you have used a total of four, the person making the referral and three counselors, if that is what it was before, I'm comfortable staying with no, that. I, actually what it was before was the person made the referral and two others supported it. So it was a total of three. Three. And now we're making it a total of four. Which would be consistent on how we do committees. Uh, okay. But besides committee as a whole, let me rephrase that. Um, Just the thought process. Yeah. Do you, we're trying to sort of also kind of throw, throttle back frivolous referrals, right? Is what we're trying to also do here. You can make it a little bit more, this is an important item that really needs to be discussed as a post just something we're sort of winging out there. I, I mean, I, in my opinion, I think we just, our referral list is so long right now that we need to tackle some of the items on it before more can be added. Mm -hmm. I think this is just going to streamline you know, the vetting process a little bit more. So if it's something important enough, you're gonna get council support and then it's gonna go on. And obviously it's important enough to get support. And if it's not, then maybe it's something that needs to wait a little bit until we tackle some of the to-do list. But that's just my opinion. That was my reasoning for making the request, the referral. I mean, we have two pages of a to-do list basically. I Councilor Casera, are you comfortable with the three additional people or would you rather have two for a total of three or a total of four, I guess is the, is the question. I think with how our referral list looks right now, I'm comfortable with three because you're right, you're gonna have to work a little bit to get some support. And right. we have so much to do right now that I, I am comfortable with keeping it at three. Okay. So a total of three, the person making the suggestion and two additional. <laughs> Counselors. No, I'm actually. Oh, oh, this. So total of four. Total of four. Okay. Yep. All right. We have so much on this referral mm -hmm. list right now. You know, if it's important enough, it's going to get on there. Right. You know, if it's something that can <coughs> wait, then maybe it needs to wait because. And if it was really <laughs> onerous and nothing was happening, you could just go dev, go back and change it to make it a total of three. Right. We can right. always. Is that? Have a rules meeting. <laughs> Oh, I think we're going to have to because we had some questions anyways. So, all right. So any counselor may request a referral to the mayor and town manager in writing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the mayor or town manager will send out the referral to the counselors to obtain support of adding the referral. It's going to be long winded. Um, it's getting right. confusing here. Wait a minute. Um. So, it, you see where I'm going with it? This, the counselor yeah. can make a request, but it's got to be to the town mayor and the manager. Yeah. So they make a referral in writing. They submit. They submit. They submit. So it may submit a referral to the mayor basically it's just this and just flush out mayor but in writing in there uh the council may submit in uh, writing yeah a referral to the mayor and town manager manager period period okay um, uh, so those one of those two will send it out to the council with a response back to the mayor and the town manager only. Once a referral is received, the town mayor or town manager will re the referral will need this. All right. 
I'm just trying to figure out how to word this. I know. It, yes. When I was writing it to, for myself, I, yeah, I got too wordy. So in the suggestions that are in on our agenda, it doesn't say anything. Well, let's see. Let me go back over to page seven here. Just uh, Chairman Parker, tell me if this is important. The referral shall be made to the requested committee. Is that an important, is that the process? Because that those words aren't in on the agenda. So no. That, no. Okay. I just. Well, which is why I want to clear up the language and figure out why we left the referral should be made to the requested committee. Okay. So, for instance, the rules committee, we got a request for us to have a meeting for those agenda items. Which rules committee is different than everybody else. So, okay. So, any council may submit in writing a referral to the mayor or town manager. Period. Yeah, I would say no. I, I would say and. I would mayor say and. both. Yes. Yeah. yeah, mayor. Just and in and case one of them, one misses it, the other will see it. Okay. Once a referral is received, the mayor or town manager, see that kind of, that just seems strange oh. to me. I don't know what that means. Okay, so Before. once it's received, they will email what the referral is. This is, I probably should have worded this better. It's really for the agenda items. The mayor. The mayor or town manager will distribute. Oh, okay. Will distribute. The referral to the council? Yep. To the town council. Okay. Um, the referral will need the support of an additional three. Well, I'm just uh, oh okay. I'm just writing and then we can change, then we can change it to be considered also do you want people to sign on in writing do they, they have will, to sign on will, in writing yeah their responses should be going back to the town manager so okay. basically yeah I, I just don't think we should all reply all on a meet on right. this yep. because yep. all responses should go back to the town Ooh. manager and oh. the mayor Respond re responses. Counselor's response should be directed to the town manager and the mayor. Response. If they are, if the counselor is in support, should be directed to the mayor or town manager. Well. Or considering sure they set the agenda i would put both with both okay mayor and town manager so there's a real procedure here yes counselor response should be diverted and then the referral will need the will need the written support of an additional three counselors to be considered so let me just read what, what I think what we have here. Okay. Any counselor may submit in writing a referral to the mayor and town manager. The mayor or, or town manager will distribute the referral to the town council. Counselor's response should be directed to the mayor and town manager. The referral will need the written support of an additional three counselors to be considered. I think that written should also be in the previous sentence. Written response should be directed to, that's what it should be. Counselor's written response? Counselor's, counselor's written response should be directed to the mayor and town manager. So let me try this again. Any counselor may submit 
in writing a referral to the mayor and town manager. The mayor or town manager will distribute the referral to the town council. Counselor's written response should be directed to the mayor and town manager. The referral will need the written support of an additional three counselors to be considered. I think you should flip that. To put this the written support for, okay. So the referral will need three counselors and then written response should be directed to mayor and town manager. Okay. Otherwise you're kind of describing something that you haven't- Haven't done yet. Yeah. All right, so say that last line again. The... Okay. So let me read it this way. Any counselor may submit in writing a referral to the mayor and town manager. The mayor or town manager will distribute the referral to the town counselor, to the town council. The referral will need the written support of an additional three counselors to be considered. Counselor's written response should be di directed to the mayor and town manager. Okay, so I need the referral will need need the was it support you said written support written support yeah of an additional, additional three counselors. counselors to be considered and then counselors written response should be directed is should the right word there but Council's written response should be directed to the mayor and town manager. Should is appropriate. And is instead appropriate. of saying written response, should we say something more of written response of support? Because response seems kind of. Oh, right. It could be, I don't want this. You know what it's I mean? Counselor's written response of support should be directed to the to the mayor and town manager yeah, yeah i agree right because you could have people going the other way too right right and then that way they don't if they don't like the support don't want to support the referral they don't have to send it Correct. they can right. move on yep. all right it is 7 39 i am so sorry we kept this but we no, have questions okay. to go back and confirm and there was two I believe two emails for us to review, but we didn't receive those until just about having the meeting. Okay. So um, I would like to discuss those at a later date. Okay. Um, let's see, check on everybody's schedule. I think we have a good starting point. And thank you guys. Thank you. Yep. All right, thank so you for running a great meeting. You're welcome. So we are almost into October. Yeah. So um, we cannot do we cannot do next Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure if you want to oh, do. Good. Yeah, if we can look at October. So. Pencil. Were you trying to get this ready for um, the fourth? No, we're not going to get ready okay. for this by the fourth because I have, I have a. We need to review the two questions that were emailed to us tonight, okay. and I have to ask. What was I was going to ask John about? We're curious about adding the subsection for number. at the next meeting. Now I forgot what we what, what we said. Yeah, I have my uh, Oh, you know what? It's recorded. <clears throat> oh, oh, we can look at this later on. Then I can review what was the question. Okay. It's, which recording comes in very handy. So, Councilor Parker, do you want me to, to write just write these up that we've talked this, these three things. Yeah, because I'm going to compare it with my notes and okay. I think that would 
yeah. then do I send them to you and Councillor Kasiri? Is that the correct? That's what I should do. Just tell me what I should, or do I just send them to you? Send them to me, and then I will send them Councillor Kasiri. Okay. That way, where? That's the proper chain. Of yeah. Okay. Yep. No, I just didn't know it was right. So. And then, um, Councillor Kasiri, if you have any that you wrote up send it directly to me and then i will send it to him so that we all compare the notes together right so this was a good meeting but and are you looking at like maybe the sixth the thursday or thursday i have um board of ed the board. we're still doing um i believe that's the day we're doing uh negotiations and the next time unless we do the third we could do the no we can't do the fifth because we have there's a, a we I'm, have a meeting i'm okay with the third if you wanted to do the third uh, uh counselor siri how's your schedule um right the third monday <laughs> will we'll be okay if we keep it a um a 6 30 meeting i think we'll be okay okay so 6 30 zoom would work for everyone yep, that works for me yeah that works for me and by then um I will review this. I'll ask the manager to review it too, so that he can hear the question, our concern that we had. Great. So pretty Zoom. Today's Wednesday, the twenty eighth. So we'll make it in the. It'll be in a timely manner for. To, is that going to be enough time to post for the meeting? Yes, I can ask for a continuance on our meeting. Okay. If I email it tonight. Does I have 48 hours to get the minutes typed up? Yes. Okay. So are we all comfortable with what we've discussed? I think so. Yep. Um, I'll, and I'll write my notes up and get them to you. And then I will type up the minutes. It will be a draft form. And we can approve those or not approve those at the next meeting um, for October 3rd. 10-3 at 6.30 via Zoom. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Are we um, not supposed to adjourn this because we're still in this discussion, so we can recess the meeting. Okay. All right, can I get a motion to recess? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we are recessing at 7.45 p.m. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. All right. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. Bye. Gotta stop the recording.